This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. It's time to deal with one of the major nightmares that anyone who uses a flash has inevitably run into. Red eyes. The red eye phenomenon is caused by the flash and the fact that it fires very rapidly, it doesn't give the pupil a chance to contract. So what happens is light from the flash enters the eye, reacts with the blood vessels in the back of the eye, and when it bounces forward, it tints the eye red. Animals have a membrane behind their eye that prevents the blood vessels from being hit by light. That's why their eyes become white or silvery. But we have no such protection. The red eye reduction feature that you find on most cameras is intended to fire the flash very rapidly before the main picture is taken. This causes the pupil to contract and prevents light from entering it and causing red eye. Sometimes though it just doesn't work. Perhaps your camera doesn't have the red eye prevention features. Perhaps you didn't have the feature turned on. Perhaps in your particular situation you couldn't use it. There's a lot of times that red eye pops up and it's extremely annoying. When you're importing images into your organizer, you have the ability to remove red eyes automatically, and you can also remove red eyes directly from the organizer as you did in a previous chapter. But for more control, for greater control, you can always remove the red eyes directly in the Photoshop Elements editor. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to activate the red eye removal tool. And it's a very simple tool to use. Now, if you look in the tool options bar across the top of your document, you'll notice there are several settings. One of them is an auto button. You can press the auto button and it will try to automatically remove red eye. In this situation, it worked well with her front eye, but didn't work as well with the eye behind. This is probably because in order for auto red eye to work, the program has to be able to analyze a face and figure out where the eyes actually are. Works really pretty well with a head-on shot, not necessarily as well in a situation like this where the figure is turned to the side and it's got that really unusual three-quarter view. So I'm going to undo that. Command-Z or Control-Z for PC users will simply undo the last action. There are two properties you can set for the red eye removal tool. Pupil size and darken amount. The pupil size property sets the size of the pupil. This is the middle of the eye and will usually be the darkest area. And the darken amount is simply how dark to make it. I'm gonna leave these both at their default setting. What the red eye removal tool does is converts the color red into a neutral, a dark gray black. That's all it does, it neutralizes red. So I'm gonna take the red eye removal tool and just click on the red spots like so, and they're gone. Nice, happy, fun, very quick and easy. The tool is magic. It really makes the problem of red eyes seem like a thing of the past. 